Hey guys, this is Night Elite. Uh, right now I'm just looking at three different stacker designs. And so the one on the bottom right is the most basic stacker. I'll zoom in here and look at it. This one is kind of what you'd expect. Train stop at a chain signal and then when the station opens up they get to go in. The one in the top is a variant on this uh, where there is a rail signal in front of each chain signal um, with a circuit network set up to read the state of the chain signal and close the rail signal if the uh, chain signal is not ready for it to go. And the last one is one where the stacker has stations added to it and the train schedule is slightly modified. It says to go to the stacker and wait till the circuit condition becomes red. And so let's take a look at what's happening on each of these. So this is the basic one. We can see that the trains that are waiting um, are, uh, are trying to path to one of the stations. And when the station becomes clear, they all immediately repath. So we have all the waiting trains repath every time um, one of the stations frees up. The on this one at the top, we see we have the stations, the trains are all waiting to path to the same spots. However, when a station frees up, watch what happens. See, all of the trains move a little bit and then stop. So I haven't tested it yet and it needs to be tested, but my guess is that's probably worse from a performance standpoint than uh, than the right basic case. But I guess I don't know that for sure. And the last one here uh, with the circuit network is this. what this circuit network does is uh, each station here is set to read the outgoing chain signal and let the train go when it's not read. And then uh, each of these reads whether there's a train present or not and forwards that along. So you can see here if red is greater than zero, I'll put red as one. And then the uh, what that'll do is that only the leftmost train out of this lot will get to go at any time. So we actually have these two trains on the right just never go due to the volume of traffic here. And if we watch them, because they're pathing to the station and then it sits here and is not being told to go, the train is never actually repathing until the, uh, so there's no pathfinder calculations happening at all, until one of the stations actually frees up. So my guess is that this one is the best on UPS, though I haven't tested it yet, though there is some extra circuit network overhead that doesn't exist on the other two. So I'll just uh, zoom out here and let us watch the trains for a few minutes before I end the video, but thanks for watching.